Hello everyone, in this video we will find out how rocks on the fields affect equipment damage. For experiment I made 4 fields sized 100 by 200 meters. The first step I planted corn in all the fields. This is so that after harvesting the soil would require plowing. The second step just harvest this corn. The third step we work the fields. One field with a plow, the second field with a subsoiler and the third field with mechanical shovels. Now we have three fields with a rock of different colors, I mean different sizes. The number of rocks in the field is not the same, but this fact did not affect the outcome of the experiment. There is another field completely without rocks. The goal of the experiment is to test how rocks of different sizes affect equipment damage. Identical tractors, identical shallow cultivators that do not produce rocks, identical planters and identical combines. I simply sent helpers to work on the fields cycle after cycle. As soon as I started this experiment, I expected a noticeable difference in damage. I saw that in the fields with red rocks, the damage indicator will drop during the first harvest. But no, on all four fields, the damage indicator was the same. I conducted several cycles of cultivation, planting and harvesting. I didn't count how many exactly, but there's something about 10 times. There is no difference at all. I remembered the mod enhanced vehicle. I installed it to accurately monitor damage and percentages. And yes, the damage to equipment in all fields was the same. Moreover, the combine and the heater that worked on the field without rocks received more damage. I think this is because the field was close to the railway. The combine had to make turns while reversing, as a result it ended up working longer. The results of the experiment was as follows. Damage to the combine in the field without rocks was 9.3%, in the field with small rocks 8.3%, in the field with medium sized rocks 8.3%, in the field with large rocks 9%. It seems like there was more damage, but this combine worked longer, which is why the damage was higher. In fact, there was no real difference in the damage at all. But there was difference in the second number, I didn't immediately understand what it was showing. I went into the equipment overview menu and saw that the prices of the combines were different. The one that works on the field without rocks is the most expensive and the combine that works on the field with the red rocks is the cheapest. But the damage on all the combines was the same. Finally, I understood everything. During the experiment I forgot that in Farming Simulator 22 the technical condition and external wear were separated. That is, there are damage and paint. I brought the combines to the workshop. Repairing the combine that works in the field without rocks cost $1400 and repainting cost $54,000. Painting the heater cost $12,500. Repairing the heater cost $300. The cost of repairing the combine in the field with red rocks is also $1400. There is a couple bucks difference, but it doesn't matter. And the cost of repainting is almost 65,000, 10,000 more than the combine that work it in the field without rocks. Repainting the heater is 15,000, but the repair cost is the same. The conclusion is this, rocks don't cause damage to the equipment, they only scratch the paint. That's it, the bigger the rocks, the faster the paint wears out. When I found that out, my reaction was something like this. Before the release of Farming Simulator 22, we were told that rocks were something special, but in reality they don't affect anything except the paint. And that's disappointing. Yes, it wasn't just combines working in the field, what about the chakras, cultivators and planters? They worked for less time, and the strange thing is that regardless of the rocks, the paint wear and damage are about the same. Searching through the files didn't reveal anything special, but I found these lines. If they are accurate, the mowers take the most wear. So I decided to test the mowers. After half an hour of work, the difference was already noticeable. But I repeat, the difference is only in the paint wear. The damage to the old mowers is the same. Well, in the original video I talked about the condition under which rocks appear, how the size of the rocks depends on the tools you choose, and how to get rid of them. But, so I don't annoy you too long with my English, I decided to end the video here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.